there's there's right there kyler murray right here plus 2800 um uh, this young man has a lot of talent we've seen it yes he's undersized yes he has potential to getting injured now most of these comeback players have been injured the previous year so that kind of goes on on you know definitely there but he has the talent he has some talent around him and it got new coaching new attitude i like what's going on as a matter of fact i'll give you a play first week he's going up to buffalo with this team taking seven points or more don't no less i'm i'm betting arizona plus seven or more plus the points and possibly to win the game straight up so kyler murray is my comeback player of the year all right next uh vic let's go with you vic who's your comeback player of the year you know, when I came up with my guy, I thought that uh, I would stand out from the other guys, but it looks like I'm uh, jumping on the bandwagon, and I'm with them. I'm with Kyler Murray at those generous odds. You know, the previous winners were, let me see, Joe Flacco last year, Geno Smith, Joe Burrow, Ryan Tannehill, and Andrew Luck dating back to the 2018 season. What do the five winners have in common? They're all quarterbacks. Now, of course, the, trick, the tricky part is predicting which one. Of course, you see the favorites there, your Aaron Rodgers, your Burroughs, your Cousins, uh, your Richardson, the second-year quarterback from Indianapolis. But, again, I, I'm i a value guy, and I love the odds. Remember in the 20 and 21 seasons, Murray was a top-five fantasy quarterback before tearing that ACL. And, of course, upon his return last year, I mean, he delivered top 12 quarterback value, learning, A, a new system without a preseason and dealing with one of the worst receiving core in the NFC last year. They've added multiple impactful offensive players this season. Arizona could very well be a team with a winning record. Jim, I'm in. Count me in on Kyler Murray. It's, it's boring to go with Aaron Rodgers. It's not boring to go with Kirk Cousins at plus 500 because that's pretty good. You get five times your investment back. But if you want 50 times your investment back, uh, Matthew Judon would be a very interesting play because same rationale, he's going to a Falcons team that I think will fare well. We talked about them potentially winning the NFC South and certainly their favorite to do that. Judon played only four games last year with the Patriots before he tore his bicep, I believe. Um, and and so he, he's coming back off an injury that is part of the uh, new parameters as to what the NFL wants to see uh, the comeback player award become. You know, somebody that comes off uh, down season due to adversity or injury or whatnot. And uh, Judon, before this season, had 15 and a half sacks in 2022. 12 and a half sacks the year before that. So you got a guy that when healthy, capable of huge things, he goes to become a, a immediate difference maker on a Falcons defense. They also signed Justin Simmons uh, this past week. So clearly they're playing for keeps this season. Uh, while Cousins will certainly get the majority of the headlines if Atlanta does break through and he keeps everybody happy on that offense, Judon could emerge as the leader of the defense and at plus 5,000, can't beat that.